Western Queensland was built on the sheep's back, but now it's riding high on the dinosaur's tail. Now it's just going gangbusters at the moment with COVID and everything. And but people are talking about it in Brisbane and that and coming out to Western Queensland. The paleo tourism industry is booming as holiday makers set out to see Australia while international borders remain shut. We actually, we met our targeted number for the year, um, even in spite of the fact we're close to three months. And this year so far, our visitation probably being about double or a bit better of what it was in any other year. A new 54 metre long sauropod trackway at Winton's Australian Age of Dinosaurs is expected to bring even more visitors. It's just amazing to see those footprints that these huge animals had, like, what you say, 95 million years ago. It's just amazing. In the state's southwest, the tiny town of Eramanga is home to a museum dedicated to Australia's largest dinosaur. Since we first opened, we've had seen a 25% increase in tourism in this area um, and we see significant growth annually. We're just going to be completely crazy in the next few months. And further north in Mudaburra, visitors can learn how Pearl Langdon's late husband Doug discovered the Mudaburrasaurus at a new interpretation centre. He showed me and he said, I found a dinosaur. And I said, have you got a touch of the sun? Because it was a very hot day in October. Demand for paleotourism is growing and so too is investment. The state government hopes a recent half a million dollars cash injection will see the Outback Dinosaur Trail become one of the state's most sought after holiday options. I think that we would be interested in dinosaurs <laughs> in, but how wrong we were i mean it's absolutely amazing the outback is full of surprises ellie grounds abc news western queensland